boy, big week, mate. It's uh, uh, your fiftieth cap against Hong Kong Friday night, and uh, mate, it's a wonderful milestone. Yeah, it's, Sambo, it's great. It's, there's only been obviously a handful of players that have achieved their fifty and also hundred at this club, just because of how new the club is in terms of rugby. I mean, it's only twelve years old. So not many players have been able to achieve that milestone in the club. It's a great honour for me, especially being in a year like this year where everything has changed and everything's new and everything is exciting. It's a good year to play your 50th. Yeah, that's spot on. It, it's a nice touch in the gym there with all the, the banners up of the players yeah, that have absolutely. reached those milestones. And yeah, when's mine going up, by the way? Well, <laughs> it, it's been manufactured. Apparently it's you've asked for double the size, so you stick out. Uh, it's not 2014 when I was 112, mate. <laughs> And mate, also Marcel, uh, 50th, um, being, being a good friend and, and joining the club around the same time, it must be pretty special. I was saying on my interview I did yesterday for my 50th, just um, what a great bloke Marcy is. We obviously come from a very similar background. Having both grown up in South Africa, we really understand each other quite well. And Marcy has come here from day one and just become such a team man. The boys really love him. He's all for how well we do in a whole, not just about what his performance is like individually. And I think because of the type of person he is on and off the field, this performance just shows wherever he actually puts the jumper on, whether it be for the Eagles or whether it be for us. Yeah. And um, a guy like Marcy is definitely someone you can't let go. He's, um, he's always going to give 110% for the club, not just on the field, but off the field as well. I agree. And uh, mate, on ball, can you give us a bit of a background on, on that nickname? <laughs> Mate, i got to tell you, it comes from my first season here, where I came here fresh, fresh off the boat from Africa. Uh, I had a shaved head, uh, and I weighed 112 kilos on a, on a bad day. Um, that year, I actually was leading line break for the forwards in total. That's a fact. Um, stat. Good yeah, stat. Yeah, stat, mate, and just used to charge at the line. Um, so that's where I got my nickname from. I think I think Foles might, might have been the one that mentioned it first and it kind of just stuck from there. When the boys started forgetting it, I just reminded them, by yeah. the way, it's bull. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's good, it's nice, nice that it's stuck. Um, mate, and on South Africa, um, yeah. you obviously grew up there and we've we've had a couple of chats in the past few months about family and, and how much it means to you. Can yeah. you give us a bit of a little, little bit of an insight into, into you growing up back oh, in South Africa? I think asking any any bloke from my my background and my culture to talk about their family. I mean, I can we can keep driving all the way to Rockingham if you want to. <laughs> my, my family is a huge part of my life. Um, my, my old man was at every single one of my rugby games growing up. Um, I wasn't the player wearing the best boots or.